The adventure continues. It surely does. About oh. a fucking year later. Oh, boys, we're back. Hello. Hi, let me take my headphones off because I never had headphones on when we were playing this game. Welcome, everybody, back to the world of Spyro the Dragon. It's been a year since we recorded the last three episodes. That was on the 28th of December, 2019, we recorded that session. And today, on the 23rd of December, 2020, we're back to uh, record some more. Um, we're not actually that far from the game. I've tested um, and, and checked to see, and we are maybe about two hours, two and a half hours away from the end of the game, so... If we can manage to record two sessions over Christmas, we might be able to actually finish this this year. Wow, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> yeah. We're going to try, but uh, for now, though, we just want to carry on from where we left off. Um, and obviously, as I just said, I've been practicing, so I, I, I kind of know what I'm doing. Although, don't blame me if I fail anyway, because it can, it can happen. You, you can still fail, even when you've been practicing. Uh, exactly, so like, if someone's being really shit at this, you can guarantee it's me that's playing it. Yeah, yeah, actually, no, that's a, that's another thing. We were, we were passing the controller back and forth for this game constantly, weren't we? Oh, fuck. Yeah. I have no idea where to pass it to you at. I'll, do, I'll tell you what, I'll do this, because this is one of those flight levels which can be a real pain it in the ass. It just all very much depends <clears throat> how many more parts of this recording you want, mate. Like. I'll tell you what. Because I can add a good few with my shitness, trust me. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do, right? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do um, uh, this level and uh, possibly... Oh, shit, no, I wasn't meant to go this way. Oh, God. It can be done going this way, but it also can make it much, much worse. Show us them skills. Yeah. School us. School us on Spiral. I have been very much looking forward to uh, getting to the end of this game and thoroughly wrecking every last record uh, that is out there for this game. Um, although that's probably not going to happen because I fucking suck. Uh, at doing anything in well, forsaken game. Fastest playthrough. That's already gone. That's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, if you if you're talking about like real world time, holy shit, we might be out on record for the longest playthrough. Fucking hell, like five days off of a year. Yeah. It is actually genuinely ridiculous that we we've been like trying to finish this game for this long. Um, I, I I I was not expecting to. Well, I suppose nobody was actually expecting what, what happened uh, this year. Uh, also, what the fuck? Where's the other arch? Oh, shit. Okay. I'm going to... Uh, oh, it might be up here. I think I just sort of skipped over it. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I did. Right in front. There it is. Okay. We've got time. We've got time. Okay. I didn't do it the, the way that is the most efficient, but I did it anyway, you know. He did it the way that's the most fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Um... Which so, is still a way. Yeah, yeah, it's still a possible way to do it. Uh, do you know what? I think I, I might. I, I think I might be able to get away with turning the game's master audio up like one notch, but I, I also don't want to risk it too much. So, but then the problem with that is if you talk too loud, you end up just completely drowning out the game. So, but you know, we we did our testing and uh, it sounds okay-ish. Sounds some similar to how we got it perfect in like episode seven to ten. Um, well, that was the entire level, like, that was it. Well, that was Wild Flight, that's one of those flight levels, they're rather short. Um, or, More of a fucking mini-game. Oh, God, okay, let me, um, volumes... Okay, no, it's all at notch seven. You know, I'm not gonna fuck with it, I I'd rather not. I'd rather not take the risk. There's one last level, uh, in this area. What, what is this area called again? This is Beast Makers, so it, there's one more level here. Uh, and then we can go to, uh, the very last... Do we call them areas? I guess they are just hub areas. Oh, um, yeah. which is hub world. Dream dream makers, I think. Or dream dream weavers? Dream weavers? I, think. I thought it was weavers. Yeah, I think it might be weavers. There's like a little mushroom there. Um, I, I, I was saying to Aaron before we started recording, uh, I'd, I'd hoped that the clip would be saved, but, well, it didn't get saved properly. But um, I was saying that I, I still am um, infatuated with this game. I, I love it to bits. It, the, the expressions on Spyro, the, the quality of the, uh, the color palette and everything. I mean, the original Spyro had a very specific color palette because it was the PlayStation 1, and they could only get away with a certain limited color palette, and everything had to 
say something to you. This is ground. This is an air void. Whatever you know. This this is a, a, an area you can go to. This is an area you can't. Whereas here, it's all very modern and updated, so you can do a lot more with it. And they really did. So every time I look at it, it's fascinating. I love the death animation on those. Like everything's really expressive on this. Oh god, yeah, it's ridiculously expressive. Um, here, I'm, I'm never really sure what to do here. I've practiced this level a few times, and I, I really am never quite sure whether going down there or, or going Look at that around. mini map, like, that's designed to fuck you up. Yeah, it, it, this level can be a real pain in the fucking ass if you're not careful. You really just have to play it safe and, um, and, and get, like, a route that you feel is uh, perfect for you to take. Uh, I think up here, I got fucked over by these monkeys more than a few times. Uh, die, you bastard. There we go. All right. Die, 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 die. Uh, yeah, these monkeys too. You gotta just be very, very careful and take them out one at a time. Make sure they're all gone so that they don't get you from behind, uh, as it were. <laughs> Spyro oh. wants to calm down, man. He's gonna get himself a bad name like Anakin. Oh, man. Anakin. Poor Anakin. Uh, poor what? Anakin, yeah. Poor, poor Anakin. Oh. What a what a sad boy! What a sad sad boy! Um, right, so so this level is uh, annoying only for one reason, uh, and that's because of the two platforms which you have to run around uh, on the runny bits in order to to uh, get to. And if you don't know which ways to run, then yeah, you're gonna fuck yourself up, and you will probably have to make one more than once, one run more than once. So I'm gonna just think about how I want to take this here. First is probably a good idea to get all the gems here so I don't have to come back. Um, there are 500 gems in this level, uh, which makes you think that there's a lot more than there actually is. Uh, I'm glad really you're isn't. the one doing this. Yeah, so so over here, first first things first, um, just focus on this area. Um, kill these guys. We will make that run at some point. They look like some sort of yeti. They like kind of put thing. me in mind of uh, the monkeys from Ape Escape a little bit. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I don't know, they've got these weird sort of lanky arms, like that Yeti from the Yeti sports games. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Okay, so um, I think, uh, what was the object of interest here? I think, yeah, if we, if we just run down here and jump over here... There we go. Okay. That was fucking awesome, man. I love the level design on this. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something, mate. It can be a fucking arsehole if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, this yeah. This level really took a lot of time the first time you I played it. You just missed something, then? Uh, nope. I got everything here. Okay. Uh, so now, yeah, now now we're just basically doing the loop around on the level in order to access the stuff that we missed out on the first time. So we come down here, and this, this would normally be the end of the level, obviously, because uh, there's the end of the level thing there but we have to we have to get a lot more stuff in here before we leave yeah but to be fair you said that there's like 500 gems we've got to collect but you've already got like two and a half already and we've been in here like how many minutes not very long not exactly. very long at all exactly uh this here right this can be deceiving um this is a, a runner pad and you can see there's a platform up there right you come up here and you get to the end here this is not enough this is not enough to get up there. You have to do some real fucky shit in order to actually get that. And we will do in a moment. But first we have a uh, few things still left to kill, apparently. Um, I think we better trademark that. Trademark what? Some real fucky shit. <laughs> yeah, some real fucky shit going on here. My god. Shit's about to get fucky. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so so here, this you can't destroy. You have to uh, you have to destroy it by coming that down that platform there. So what we've now got to do is go back to where we started the level, and instead of going over to that platform over there, uh, directly in front of us, we have to come up to where we came out there and jump over there. So if you don't know what to do, this level gets you turned around. And like the first time I played it, when I didn't actually know how to beat it, you end up getting stuck here for about three hours. Well, let's so. have a little less conversation and a little more action, please. please. Yeah, that's the one. I'll, I'll take that. Uh, all right, well, um, I, I, do, I mean, we do need to, you know, discuss a few things. Um, firstly, 2020 has been shit, as we all know. Uh, it's not been the greatest of years for most people. 
Um, but we've managed to pull through and survive and it is almost the end of the year, despite the fact that this shit is probably going to carry over into the new year anyway. Uh, but we will continue on our quest with Spyro and finish it because we have to. We need to. We come this far. Come, can, com, 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 com. Nice. Uh, <laughs> we've come this far, um, but we haven't quite finished it yet. Um, I have actually asked my brother if uh, he wants to do the special levels after beating Nasty Nork at the end of the game because uh, they do have a lot of gems in them and I haven't practiced them but when you do practice them they take maybe 10 minutes to beat but we'll, we'll see what happens because obviously um, we're not sure how long Aaron's actually going to be here for and we're not sure how often we're going to be in the mood to do these, these recordings so um, oh. at the end of the day oh, there we go. with these playthroughs you have a to-do list, and we'll just start at the top, shall we? Hmm. Yeah, but and I don't see want just to... how far down we get. I just don't want to wait another year to finish it. You know, well, what if I you've mean? got to wait another year, then that's what's going to happen. It's it's one of those things, you know. We have to we have to take it as it goes. But um... given the choice, you can guarantee I would have opted out. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about. Um you know, some of the stuff that I've picked up this year, right? Because I, I obviously in Spyro videos before, we've, we've tended to talk about games we've played and stuff. Um, this year, personally, I've played quite a lot of games. Um, but I think probably the one I've played most is ESO um, and also Far Cry 5. Those were two of the, the best ones. Okay, well, I'm just getting my, my bearings here. I need to make sure I know where I'm going. Um, let me let me just do this actually before I carry on the conversation because this this takes a little bit of of, uh, of work. So firstly, we have to jump over here, and then we have to very carefully curve our way around up here and jump round here, and then boom! Okay, we made it. No fucking need. That's like... the fucky shit I was talking about that you have to do. There we go. Okay, that's the fucky shit you have to do in order to pull that off. It is ridiculous and it really caught me out the first time I played this and I'm sure it did with most people who play this game. It is just ridiculously complicated for something that shouldn't be. Um, and the last thing we need to do, we have to again go back around for. Um, but you know what, I think I've actually done this the most efficient way I possibly could and I haven't died once. So we have really saved a lot of time and we're, we're only at like 12 minutes, which is ridiculous. Um, I, I, it took me about half an hour to do this the first time I was practicing it. That is a bit dickless, like. A bit dickless. Yeah, dickless. A bit dickless. <laughs> well, let's let's talk about something that um, uh, I asked my brother to leave until we were recording to talk about, right? I got a little Pokedex. A little, little, little baby Pokedex. You've little... got a Pokedex. This is my Pokedex. How dare you? Always has been my Pokedex that my grandfather bought me. That is not your Pokedex. I bought that on eBay. That is not yours. That's not the one you owned. Oh, you f oh, like you led me to believe that this was mine. No. Fuck I didn't brain. lead it to I didn't lead you to believe it was yours. Yeah. I wonder you know if it. you guys heard that little beeping of the I don't know how to use it. I actually went online to find the guide for it to tr you know find the original guide of how to use it. Um and uh, I still haven't looked at it. I've got the PDF. But yeah, that is an original 1998 Pokedex, the little red rectangular one. Yeah, that is a 98. That is a Generation 1 Pokemon. All Tiger the first 149. Tiger Electronics. Yep. Fucking hell, the memories of this thing. I used to sit there playing with this thing, just going through every single one of them. My granddad got me one of them from Woolworths, like 35 pound. It's still got to be about somewhere. There's no reason why it wouldn't be. It's just the way things go at my nan's house. Ooh, we made it, boys. We made it. That house just eats things. Ugh. And then that's it. They're just gone for all eternity. Gone, vanished. Just suddenly did not exist anymore. Ugh. We did it. I think it's got a lot to do with my nan and uh, putting things away in such a safe place that no human being would ever find it ever again. Yeah, that house is a, a void of items that go missing constantly. 
There is. There's, there's, there's some sort of fourth dimension to that house. And I guarantee you that's where everything is. I guarantee you it'd be like... When you find it, it'd be like the most epic car boot sale you've ever been to in your life. Oh, it... I've been in the, the attic of that place a few times and I can tell you from experience that and uh, even Aaron has been there as well um, and I can tell you it is a ridiculous ridiculous place there there was a lot more in there years ago and years past but it, it's been emptied out over the years because of all the shit that's just been buried in there that needed to be thrown out I never I, even I looked in there a, I once found a basket yeah like a, 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 a an old straw basket filled to the brim with vinyls and these vinyls were ruined they'd been up in that attic for probably like 50 years and they were all warped and cracked and like they, they were so old it wasn't even like they'd been kept in a cupboard for 20 years and then stuck in the attic it's like they'd literally been in the attic in that box for 50 years and it was it was just garbage i had to throw it out so i, I was literally up there for a, a matter of minutes and i'd already put my hand on a carrier bag full of Super Nintendo cartridges. Yeah. yeah. And not only did it have Super Nintendo cartridges in it, it had oh, like the manuals for so some of my old Game go. Boy Advance games, the, the, the original packaging for the pre-built Pokemon card decks that we bought when we were kids and ah uh, the Pokemon yeah. all yeah. of it like like the the very first like uh, pre-built decks that they released mm -hmm. and yeah like all, all the boxes were all just like folded down laid flat and everything still in there perfect Japanese uh, Super Nintendo cartridges the uh, the converters that we have to use obviously yeah yeah and oh, it was all there I was so happy and I can't believe like the amount of times I must have been up in that loft over the years or attic. <laughs> yeah. the, yes, Americans, attic, elevator, yeah. fucking uh, uh, automobile. Actually, wait, isn't that a, a European word? Your automobile. It's like German, isn't it? Automobile. That sounds American to me. <laughs> uh, could, could be American. All right, so let, let's let's uh, away from the stories for a second, just to get back to Spyro. So we've now made it to the very last hub area uh, of the game. This is it. Well, after this, you go to Nork's world, where I think there's there's three levels. Uh, one is the final boss, and the other two are like bonus levels. Uh, but here, this is this is like the last big hub area that we get to, and it is really nice looking. Um, it's up in the air, so it's more than nice nothing looking. below you. Uh, like the original one just has absolutely nothing on this. I mean, everybody obviously loves the original one, but still, this... They just went beyond, man. Uh, it's, it's so nice. It is, like, it's unbelievable how they've made that look. It's unbelievable. Oh, shit. And considering that it was just one random day, he's just sat on my sofa at my house and... He's just sitting there banging on about how much he loves collectibles. Collectathons. Oh. Sorry. And that noise I made. The first thing I thought of doing was going up and grabbing my copy of Spyro. I was like, there you go. Give that a go. Straight away, he was in love. Yeah, it's... it's Same it's, principle as the Banjo-Kazooie <laughs> obsession. It's a, it's a simple concept. You know, you just run around collecting collectibles. It's such a... Uh, a simple enjoyable concept and I just fucking love it to bits and you know what I'll, I'll, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a very like honest um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say something very honest here uh, I, I only played Spyro 1 on the PS1 right before the Spyro trilogy came out I had seen Spyro 2 and 3 uh, clips of it on YouTube various times in the past but Spyro 1 is the only one that I'd actually played through all the way on the PlayStation 1 before this game came out. And that was the only game that I could really have a measure for um, when I actually played this, this remake originally. And it was absolutely fantastic. But I still love 2 and 3. When I was playing 2 and 3 through on this, and it was my first time playing those two games, there were moments where I was really pissed off. You know, moments where I was trying to do like bonus skill things or uh, there were certain levels which were an absolute pain in the fucking ass, like the stupid Yeti levels in Spyro 2. 
like th there's like a boxing match you do with the Yeti character. Uh, I forget if it's in Spyro 2 or 3, but it is an actual fucking like pain in the ass. I know I keep saying pain in the ass, but it's true. It was really, really horrible to play. But to be fair, and most though, people agreed that it is actually a really horribly built mini game. Them, them games are a considerable amount more convoluted than this, though. That's why I think that this one is as good as it is. It's, you know, in its simplicity, it's absolutely epic. Do you think that might be why um, uh, a lot of people don't like Banjo Tui but love Banjo Kazooie? That is exactly Kazooie is very why. simple compared to Tui. Like Banjo Kazooie is perfect because of its simplicity and how com you know I mean that that formula just comes full circle when you actually play the game. So I suppose the only reason people who do like Banjo Tui like me like Banjo Tui is because they wanted something more complicated. They wanted something more from Banjo Kazooie that it didn't have and Banjo Tui gave it to them. Well you imagine that's a what world I you imagine a world here yeah, where Banjo Kazooie didn't exist. It was just Banjo Tui. I don't think anyone would have liked that game even half as much. Yeah, it was the fact that they'd already played Banjo-Kazooie, absolutely adored it. That was the reason that they went for Banjo-Tooie. Mm. But yep. it still wasn't as good because they, they just made it too convoluted. Um, I'm just going to make a point here. We're actually over 20 minutes. Um, we're at 21. Since it's been a year, we'll let you off, all right? You lovely viewers, we'll let you off. You can have a off. bonus You minute. can have a couple of minutes extra. But we're going to end this episode here, um, and we will continue with our journey in the next episode. I don't even remember what part this is. I think it's part 14. But yeah, see you guys in the next part, whatever that one actually is. Bye-bye. Bye for now.